Have you ever wondered what happens to the food you eat after you swallow it? Your body goes through an amazing process to turn food into energy and nutrients that help you grow and stay healthy. This process is called digestion and it happens inside the digestive system. Digestion must begin before our bodies can turn our meals into energy to carry out daily activities. Digestion is a process where food is broken down into smaller pieces so the body can absorb the nutrients. Every bite you take goes on a long journey through your digestive system, which works like a well-organized machine to ensure your body gets what it needs. Without digestion, our bodies wouldn't have the energy to move, think, or even breathe properly. Now, let's talk about what makes digestion possible the digestive system. Our digestive system is a long tube that stretches from the mouth all the way to the anus. It's also called alimentary canal or the gastrointestinal tract. This system works in harmony, breaking down the food we eat, absorbing useful nutrients, and eliminating waste that the body doesn't need. But how does it all happen? Let's take a look at the structure and functions of the parts of the digestive system. The digestive system is made up of several organs, including the mouth, where digestion begins by breaking down food with teeth and saliva. Next, the epiglottis. This is a flap of cartilage that covers the windpipe, or trachea, when you swallow, to prevent food from entering your lungs. Then there's the esophagus a small muscular tube that moves food from your mouth to your stomach. Then there's the liver, an organ that produces bile, which helps the small intestine digest and absorb fats, cholesterol, and vitamins. Next, the gallbladder, a small pear-shaped organ that stores and releases bile made by the liver. Then there's the stomach, one of the main organs of the digestive system that stores and breaks down the food you eat. The pancreas, the organ that produces enzymes that break down food even more in the small intestine. The small intestine, this breaks down food and fluid to absorb nutrients and water. The large intestine, also known as the colon, this is a tube-shaped organ that absorbs water and nutrients from food and eliminates waste from the body. And finally, the anus, the opening at the end of the large intestine where stool passes out of the body. Each part of the digestive system plays an important role in this journey. Let's follow the path of your food step by step. The adventure begins in your mouth. Your teeth chew food into smaller pieces while saliva moistens it, making it easier to swallow. Saliva also starts breaking down the food into smaller bits. Once you swallow, the food travels down the esophagus, a muscular tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. The food moves smoothly thanks to a squeezing action called peristalsis. When the food reaches your stomach, it meets gastric juices that help break it down further. The stomach churns the food into a liquid called chyme, making it ready for the next stage. Now, most of the magic happens in the small intestine. The small intestine uses bile from the gallbladder and digestive juices from the pancreas to break down food even more. Here, nutrients are absorbed in the blood and sent all over the body to provide energy and repair tissues. Now, not everything gets digested. The leftovers move into the large intestine, where water is absorbed, and the remaining waste is formed into solid feces. Finally, the journey ends at the anus, where waste leaves your body. That's the digestive system at work. Let's test what you've learned. 1. What is the main job of the digestive system? 2. Where does digestion begin? Three. What happens to food in the small intestine?